Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here with NoOffSeason.com. Welcome to the Sports Card Strategy Feed. It's Wednesday, May 15th, and it's time for your weekly basketball card market update right here at NoOffSeason.com. The weekly basketball card market update in the Sports Card Strategy Feed is, of course, brought to you by NoOffSeason.com, the number one place to get all the information you need to make money flipping sports cards. You can get a free 30-day trial today at NoOffSeason.com. And we did a little something different this week for the basketball card market update. We're actually going to be talking about some potential summer league breakout stars with freshmen and sophomores, that's incoming NBA draftees, as well as second-year NBA players. We wrote an article at NoOffSeason.com that breaks it down even further, but let's jump into the data on how you might be able to make money flipping cards of guys that could be summer league stars here in 2024. Let's start with the potential draftees. Again, our article at NoOffSeason.com breaks it down much, much further than this, but Bronny James, his 2023 Bowman Chrome University base first raw, sold 35 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $2.97. Who knows if Bronny's going to get drafted or not? He's at the NBA Draft Combine currently working out, and it'll be interesting to see, even if he doesn't get drafted, and he does not go back to college, he would definitely play in the summer league somewhere. So we would expect a jump in his cards when that does happen. Reed Shepard, projected to be a top 10 pick out of Kentucky. His 2023 Bowman Chrome University based for, base first raw, sold 18 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $3.10. Bronny, his 2023 Topps Chrome McDonald's All-American Action Shots Raw, Sold 17 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $3.53. And I mean, say what you will about Bronny. He's outselling all the other top prospects from a sales volume standpoint. His 2023 Topps Chrome McDonald's All-American number 68 photo shoot raw sold 15 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $4.16. His refractor first raw out of Bowman Chrome University. Sold 14 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $5.21. And then we get to Dalton Connect out of Tennessee, projected to be a top 10 pick. 2023 Bowman Chrome University base first raw, sold 10 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $2.23. Skip another brawny card and go to Stefan Castle, a potential top two pick out of UConn. His 2023 Topps Chrome McDonald's All-American Chrome Autographs Raw. Sold eight times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $19.59. But pro tip here, Castle's Bowman Chrome University first out of 2023. Bowman Chrome U basketball are super cheap. More on that at nooffseason.com. Now let's go over to sophomores, right? So second year NBA players in 2024 that may or may not play in the summer league but we've included them in our article at nooffseason.com, how to make money on the NBA Summer League. Brandon Miller. First three cards are Brandon Miller cards here out of our top second-year NBA players. This is other than Victor Wembanyama, by the way, because we know there's no way Victor Wembanyama is playing in the Summer League. It's just not going to happen. Um, and the Olympics are start starting the week after the Summer League ends. And he's going to be on his way to France to represent France, I would assume. So Brandon Miller, his 2023 Prism Silver Raw, is a card that our formula at nooffseason.com loves. 99 sales of this card in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $53.25. The base, Brandon Miller, 2023 Prism, sold 98 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price, much, much different than the silver. $2.49. $2.49. Miller's Pink Ice Prism sold 86 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price $15.41. Scoot Henderson, the third overall pick in the 2023 NBA draft. I'd like to see him in the summer league again in 2024. We'll see if it happens. His 2023 Prism Silver Raw sold 78 times in the last 14 days. A lot of pe- people scooping up Scoot to grade at PSA, I would assume. Average sale price, $22.40. 
Here's a guy that I think we all like, Jaime Jaquez Jr. We've seen him in commercials with Jimmy Butler. He had a great rookie season with the Heat. Mid-first-round pick, again by the Heat, faring well. His 2023 Prism Silver Raw, 60 sales of that card in the last 14 days. Average sale price, $13.05. That's up 35.5%. And then this guy in the NBA playoffs right now in the conference semis out in the West for the Dallas Mavs, seven foot one lottery pick last year, Derek Lively II. His 2023 Prism Silver Raw sold 56 times in the last 14 days. It's up quite a bit, up five bucks. Average sale price, $9.82. I'm going to skip down to a guy that I really like. I don't know if he can be an NBA superstar because of the team he's on with a lot of young talent, but you never know. The 20th overall pick in last year's draft, Cam Whitmore. He was the MVP of last year's Summer League. I would love to see him in it again, and he has the best photo on any 2023 Prism rookie card. His silver sold 46 times in the last 14 days for an average sale price of $13.48, outselling the Thompson Twins right underneath them. Okay, now let's get to where we normally start at, All basketball rookie cards graded or raw by sales volume in the last seven days. Anthony Edwards still leading the charge. His 2020 Prism 258 base raw. Get this, sold an average of over 100 times a day in the last seven days. 761 sales in the last seven days. The average sale price is insane. $39.14 for a base card. Victor Wembanyama's 2023 Prism base Raw sold 680 times in the last seven days. Average sale price $45.58. A lot of people still getting that one graded at PSA and will profit there if they get a PSA 10. Anthony Edwards 2020 Optic Base Raw sold 307 times in the last seven days. Average sale price $16.42. Even Ant Man's 2020 Base Don Russ, just a paper card. Sold 304 times in the last seven days. Average sale price, $12.44. Ridiculous what happens in the card market when a player gets hot in the playoffs. All right, now let's go over to the top graded basketball rookie cards in the last seven days. Victor Wembanyama's 2023 Prism Base PSA 10 is now almost a pop 7,000. 239 sales of that card in the last seven days. Average sale price, $171. Dollars. His Monopoly Prism Base PSA 10 is next with 137 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price $56.99. Anthony Edwards 2020 Prism Base PSA 9 sold 11 times in the last seven days. Average sale price $77.25. Wemby's PSA 9 Base Prism sold 110 times in the last seven days. Average sale price 60 and Anthony Edwards 2020 Prism Base PSA 10 pop 3284 sold 93 times in the last 7 days average sale price $332 which is insane for a base prism PSA 10 although I have a theory as to why this is a much lower pop count for a number 1 pick than in previous and subsequent years I believe it was because of the PSA shutdown in 2021 And a lot of people went with SGC. Okay, let's go over to the top basketball card sales overall in the market in the last seven days. This card sold twice in the last seven days. Michael Jordan's 1984 Star Base PSA 7. A lot of people coming out and now saying this is the true Michael Jordan rookie card above the 1986 Fleer, which would make sense because it is two years earlier. It was actually released during his rookie season, 1984 Star Base PSA 7. Two sales of this card most recently sold yesterday for $32,000. And in BGS 8, same card sold on May 8th for $25,000. Victor Wembanyama's 2023 Prism Mojo out of 25, graded a PSA 10, sold on May 9th for $23,800. How about Allen Iverson, the answer, AI. His 1997 Metal Universe, number 20. It's a PMG Red out of 90, Precious Metal Gems. Red out of 90 in BGS 7. Those cards do not grade well. 
sold for $22,000 on May 9th. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, his 1969 Topps Base PSA 8, sold for $19,400 on May 12th. And the other Michael Jordan rookie card. I never thought I'd be saying the other Michael Jordan rookie card in reference to 1986 Fleer 57 Base PSA 9, sold on May 9th. It's an outstanding card, sold for $17,000. Okay, now... The top card sales in the last seven days among all basketball cards, graded or raw, rookie, non-rookie, has to sell five or more times in seven days, though, to qualify for this. In at number one, Victor Wembanyama's 2023 Prism Choice Red out of 88. There's only 88 of these, and there's only 29 in PSA 10. That PSA 10 sold eight times in the last seven days for an average sale price of 5000 $980 last sale yesterday, $6,210. Michael Jordan's 1986 Fleer 57 base PSA 7 sold seven times in the last seven days. Last sale a couple of days ago, $4,410. LeBron James, 2003 Topps Chrome number 111 base PSA 10 is a pop 2301. Sold seven times in the last seven days. Last sale a couple of days ago, $3,950. Victor Wembenyama's 2022 Bowman University Inception Auto in PSA 10 sold six times in the last seven days. Last sale yesterday, $2,560. And Anthony Edwards' 2020 Prism Silver PSA 10 still hot. 60 sales of this card in the last seven days. Last sale yesterday, $1,580. Luka, Luka Doncic, his, his uh, 2018 Prism Silver PSA 10 sold eight times in the last seven days. Last sale a couple of days ago, $1,230. Just goes to show you what the playoffs can do for hot players card value. Okay, now let's go over to the top graded basketball cards in the last seven days with 10 or more sales from 2012 through the present does not have to be a rookie card. Top risers, Michael Porter Jr. We saw this card as a top faller uh, last week. His 2018 Prism Base PSA 9, now that the Nuggets are back up in the series in the Western Conference semis, apparently people want a slice of Michael Porter Jr. 11 sales of his 2018 uh, Prism-based PSA 9 in the last seven days. That card's up 173%. P.J. Washington Jr., uh, beyond explanation, his 2019 Prism-based PSA 10, 19 sales of that card in the last seven days, up 144%. Caitlin Clark, 2023 Bowman Chrome University-based PSA 10, 13 sales of that card in the last seven days, up 84%. Zion Williamson, 2019 Prism-based PSA 9, 10 Sales of that card in the last seven days up 84.1%. Victor Wembanyama, 2023 tops now base. This is a print run of 72,171. This is the draft night D1 card in PSA 9. 12 sales in the last seven days up 72.8%. Another PJ Washington card is 2019 Prism Silver PSA 10. 14 sales of that card in the last seven days up 66%. And Cam Reddish, Cam Reddish, his 2019 Prism Base PSA 10, 13 sales of that card in the last seven days, up 59.2%. But guys, it's only up $1.33. Last sale yesterday, $3.58. Okay, same category, biggest fallers, 2012 through the present, graded only, 10 or more sales in the last seven days. Does not have to be a rookie card. Biggest faller, R.J. Barrett, 2019 Mosaic Base PSA 10. 10 sales, down 52.1%. Anthony Edwards, 2020 Optic Base PSA 9. 19 sales, down 46%. Sabrina Ionescu, her 2020 Prism WNBA Base PSA 9. 17 sales, down 43%. Brandon Miller, 2023 Monopoly Base. 10 sales, down 42.2%. Anthony Edwards, 2020 Prism Silver PSA 9, 51 sales, down 42%. And Anthony Edwards, 2020 Prism Base 
PSA 9, 111 sales, down 39%. So the silver down 42% over 51 sales and the base down 39% across 111 sales. Today's episode is brought to you by CGC Cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Go to cgccards.com to start grading today. All right, we typically take a look at the top CGC card sales. LaMelo Ball, his 2020 Don Russ rated rookie base in CGC 10 on May 3rd, sold for $13.60. Also, LaMelo Ball, on March 27th, his Orange Ice Prism sold in CGC 9 for $26. How about Anthony Edwards, his 2020 Prism Emergent in CGC 7, sold in a buy it now for $7.99. Thanks for joining us on the weekly basketball card market update. Don't forget to like this at youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Comment, share, leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast app. And stay tuned for our Monday and Wednesday Sports Card Strategy Show full episodes and Friday's premium podcast at nooffseason.com. Stop making dumb mistakes in the hobby. Take Sports Card School now. Sports Card School is a safe place for noobs, advanced flippers, and high rollers alike to learn how to navigate the hobby and ultimately build a collection that increases in value. Go to sportscardschool.com. Com. Get a free 30-day trial at nooffseason.com today to start learning our guidelines, strategies, and plays to help you make money flipping sports cards to fund your PC and other things in your life. Again, thanks to our sponsor, CGC Cards. I'm Paul Hickey with nooffseason.com. Have a great day.